2012 If My World's TQ. Elliot, how's it feeling? Uh, yeah, it's really good. I mean, it's just starting to sink in now and everyone's uh, congratulating me and pictures and stuff like that. Um, it's a shame today got rained off, but the weather was just so bad. So, um, yeah, it, it feels pretty good. Uh, I'm told it's like the first British guy that's done it as well. So, yeah, it feels pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, historically, uh, it's, you're the first uh, European actually to do it since Yannick back in 2004. So it's a pretty momentous occasion. Yeah, well, I, I didn't know that. I know <laughs> you just told me that now. Um, yeah, it, it does feel amazing. Um, it's not many people that get a chance to do that. And we've been working all through my career to get to somewhere like this. Um, but it's still a long way to go. You could say half the job's done. So we just got to have a good race and finish it off. Looking back uh, a week ago, do you think, uh, did you ever think it was on the cards? Do you think it was likely did, that you had a chance? Um, not really. I mean, I, when I see the track, obviously I didn't come to the warm-up. I see the track and I was, I was quite quietly confident about the track. Um, I could see that it, was, it would suit my driving style quite well. Um, never thought I'd TQ, especially with like all the Americans here. They're always super fast and obviously Robert's been here and he won the warm-up. So I knew he'd be really quick. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it, was, it was a bit of a shock, but um, in the last couple of rounds I felt pretty confident with the car on the track, so um, yeah, <laughs> that's it really. So, you, you, I mean, mentioning again the interview uh, we did when you joined Kyosho back in uh, January, you've had a whirlwind year, you know, obviously British champion, now Worlds TQ, where'd you go from here? Hopefully win the Worlds. Um, that would be the obviously the next step to be world champion in eighth would be incredible. It's like a dream come true. Um, so yeah, that's just the next step, and then just go into all my other races and just try and win. You know, best thing for my sponsors and for me. Now your uh, Kyosho Novorossi AK package is working really well. Mechanics Chris and Mike as well. I mean, would you like to congratulate them as well, or is it just uh, down to the driving? No, no, no race meeting is without their mechanics. Um, I couldn't have done it without them. And the support of my dad over the years, I couldn't have done it without him. Um, Mick is just brilliant on the car. And it's, it's, it's a team effort, it's not just me. I mean, I go out and drive, but, you know, I need a car that I can drive. And those two guys give it to me. So, yeah, it's a team effort and it's, I really appreciate the help. How did it feel um, looking at Q5 after, you know, basically demolishing everyone else in the field in that round? Did you did it really sink in that quickly, or were you just looking at the timesheets and saying, "Wow, I'm 13 seconds quicker than anyone else"? Um, I don't, I don't want to be uh, too confident with it. Um, I just went out and just put a clean run, and just I felt comfortable um, running around at that pace. And then, and then I looked at the time, and I see that I was quite a way ahead. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to get too big-headed about it or anything like that. I just, um, I just had a good run. Anyone else probably could have done it. So we're just to see in the semi-finals. It's going to be tough, and um, just do the best I can. Do you uh, approach the semis and, and the final with any sort of strategy, or is it just like any other race? You know, just looking, uh, looking ahead. I'm just going to go into it like I've done throughout the year. It's just another race. I don't want it to go to my head or anything like that. I just want to go out, just race, and do my thing, and see what happens.